Hey guys, so I'm currently at my brother's house and he has this very 90s looking bathroom. And uh, I had my camera with me, so I was like, you know what, let's just let's just get ready with me at my brother's house. Why not? So I had this like awesome little traveling bag for makeup and stuff. I got this from Korea for like five dollars. And it has a place to like hold all your brushes and all your makeup in there. This is kind of like what it usually takes for me when I'm traveling around. And it really comes in handy for all my makeup and my contact case, which just fell out. But that's okay, because I have my contacts in. So let's just, uh, let's just go ahead and get started. <laughs> so I'm just gonna mist my face with the Rainforest of the Sea Marine Boosting Mist. And so it's just gonna help kind of like hydrate my skin a little bit. So if you don't bring your full skincare and you just bring a mist with you, it still kind of helps. And it smells amazing too, so I just really like it. I'm just gonna kind of rub that in. And so the primer I kind of travel with is the Becca Backlighting Filter Primer, just because it kind of really gives it illuminated finish. And because it does that, it kind of just blurs out your pores a little bit. So it makes you look pretty flawless. And it's just really easy to throw on just to look kind of like perfected. I'm just gonna dot this all over. The foundation I brought with me is the Take a Deep Breath Cushion Foundation from Philosophy, and this is shade 5. And I really just like this because it's super easy to kind of travel with, and I love how I have my Hamish puff in there, like what the heck. I didn't even know I brought that puff with me. I didn't know I stuck it in there. It's also like a really nice coverage, but looks extremely natural. And so that's what I really like about it. It doesn't look like I have too much on. I have like the weirdest review of this up on my channel, if you want to go like kind of search for it. <laughs> it's, uh, it's pretty interesting. Puffs just work so much better for like cushion foundations. And I don't really ever wear eyeshadow, so I'm just gonna kinda cover my eyes. So everything's really evened out. Help me check your Snapchat. Oh god, what did you say? What oh dude, I hope it's not something stupid. Oh, it's stupid. oh dude. Oh did I lock it? God damn. Jeez! <laughs> Alright, and so after that cushion foundation, I just used this Bare Minerals Bare Skin Serum Concealer because it's really lightweight, and honestly, it's one of my favorites, even though, like, I usually don't ever use Bare Mineral products, but this one's really good. It covers, like, any kind of dark circles instantly, and it's just so fluid that it feels so lightweight and doesn't look like you have a lot on. Literally, my favorite brush for concealer, it's actually a Velvet Luxe Sculpting Brush from Mint Cosmetics, but it fits in the pocket of your eye so perfectly that it just blends concealer out flawlessly. So I actually bought this to contour with, but I don't like using it to contour because it's just so dense. But I found like, look how easy it blends concealer. Like that was, yeah, pretty instant. I just go in kind of like patting motions to really, really blend it. Awesome. After that, I'm pretty much done with like all my creams. So I'm just gonna go in with the Maybelline Fit Me powder, matte and poreless, and buff beige. And this is like literally my favorite setting powder. I have so many, from like extremely high end to just like normal. And this one is the best one that I found just to like pat over any kind of foundation. So like literally it's about $7 and it works the best. All right, so in person, I'm looking a lot less shiny, but I'm not sure if that's like reflected on camera or not because I have like three lights kind of set up in here for some reason. Um, but yeah, I'm looking pretty natural right now, but I need to add color back into my face. So now to do that, I'm using the Marc Jacobs blush brush and one of his blushes as well. This one's just like a really nice pinky tone and it just looks like a natural, like nice flush on the skin. So it doesn't look like I'm wearing like a ton of blush or anything. I go in with like the deeper color first and just place the pigment. So like right on top of that cheekbone and then go up with it. Just like one sweep of color. So I don't pick up too much, so that I don't look too crazy. And then I pop a little bit on the temples. Because if you do this, it kind of just balances out the color. So like you'll have color here and here, so it kind of rounds out the face properly. And then I go in with a lighter shade, which is kind of just like a highlight almost. And I go right on top of that cheekbone to really blend the two shades together. So it'll look a lot more natural and it won't look like uh, too crazy or anything. Honestly, for like my everyday look, this is kind of where I would stop, but since I have more stuff with me, we'll just keep going. Cause I kinda wanna add like a highlight back into my skin since I am looking pretty matte, so we'll go ahead and do that. But first, bronzing. 
So if I don't do my blush, or if I just want like a little bit of extra color, I go in with this Milk Matte Bronzer, and it's seriously been my favorite bronzer since I've got this. And I literally just like pop a little bit right on right there, right on here, and on the tops of the forehead, and a little on the nose. Kind of contour that out. You can see I listed on my nose right here, on the sides, and on the tops of my forehead. So I kind of just take that same concealer brush again. I did bring a bronzer brush with me, but this one just works so well for blending. I kind of use this like I would use a beauty blender, actually. Just because I'm so... I'm not lazy to wet my beauty blender or anything, like underwater. I just... <laughs> it's just so much easier to grab a brush, and this one works so well. And this bronzer just blends out so easily, like I didn't have to do much work at all. And it's like all blended. Lighting is just so tough. Now it's working. To add that highlight on my skin, I'm just gonna use Champagne Pop from Becca with a Smashbox fan brush. It's my favorite fan brush that I own because it fits so perfectly, like right where you need to pop the highlight at. And Champagne Pop just looks so perfect. Like, it matches my skin tone, so it just looks really great once it's on top of my cheeks. Awesome. I'm just gonna go back in with that Rainforest of the Sea Marine Boosting Mist and just kind of spray it all over. And it'll just kind of like make everything like one layer and kind of like once it dries everything will look even and like it looks like my skin it just somehow does it but i'm gonna let this dry hold on it's so hot in here it's not gonna dry in here hold on hold on okay. since my brows are pretty full i usually don't do anything to them because in person they look fine but on camera, you can kind of see like where they're a little bit more sparse in like places than others. Because right here it looks pretty full, then like right here I might need a little bit. So I'm just gonna take this Rodile Glamour Brow, and it's just like a regular brow pencil. I'm just gonna kind of line the spots that need a little bit more help than others, like the fronts, and right there. So I just go for like a really natural brow. If I put too much stuff in there. It just kind of looks like I've done a lot to my brows when in reality I haven't. And I just kind of found it's like a thing with me, so I always have to go for a more natural brow. But yeah, this is kind of like my everyday kind of look that I usually do. And it's actually a ton of steps, but it doesn't look like that much makeup, honestly. Like, it looks pretty natural in person. Um, it's like 100 degrees in here now with all these lights. And this like little hoodie that I've been wearing, it's not helping. It's not doing any justice right now. So yeah, if you guys like this video, of course, subscribe and like it. But yeah, thank you guys for watching, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye, guys. So um, even with the exposure kind of down, it still looks a little bit heavy, but it's not, it's not, I don't know how to work these lines. What am I doing? What am I doing? And I had my camera with me and I was like, you know what, let's actually just film a, like, traveling get ready with me, why not? So, um, very 90s. I don't know what, why this was chosen, it's wallpaper.